Avenger Air Defense System. The Avenger Air Defense System, designated AN-TWQ-1, is a fully automated, short-range air defense system is the Army's premier shoot-on-the-move air defense weapon. It is a lightweight, highly mobile, easily transportable surface-to-air missile fire unit with eight Stinger missiles in two missile pods. It acquires, identifies, tracks and engages targets, low-flying helicopters or fixed-wing aircraft, from a stationary or moving position. The Avenger, mounted on a high-mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, can operate in extreme weather conditions. Its infrared system, computer, communications equipment and laser range finder locate targets in daylight and at night. Avenger is equipped with a 50 caliber M3P automatic machine gun to cover the missile dead zone and engage ground targets. The machine gun, manufactured by Fabrique National Herstal of Belgium, is mounted on the right launch beam with its ammunition magazine fixed on the right side of the turret below the gun barrel. 200 rounds of ammunition are carried. The gun is recoil operated, link belt fed and air cooled. The fire control system is highly automated, including automatic insertion of lead angle and super elevation at missile launch. The gunner station has a head-up CA-562 optical sight produced by CAI Division of Recon Optical, Barrington, Illinois. Missile seeker activate, uncage and fire permit indications are projected on the sight glass. Driven reticles confirm the missile seeker is locked onto the same target the gunner is tracking. The Avenger turret can be easily adapted to different combat vehicles, such as trucks, trailers and track vehicles, or employed as a remotely operated autonomous unit. This highly automated system rapidly and efficiently assists the gunner with target location, identification, tracking and missile lock-on. To address increasing national security interests to protect maneuver forces, U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Command inspected and overhauled legacy Avenger systems to build the 72 operational Avenger systems. In support of the European Command mission requirement, Letterkenny Army Depot's 21 work centers were involved in overhauling and recapitalizing the Avengers. The 72 Avenger systems will be shipped to Germany as a full complement for two battalions. One battalion set will be activated and the other battalion set will be placed in prepositioned storage. The 72 Avengers, employed by US European Command, will be a part of the European Deterrence Initiative, a series of defense initiatives. These initiatives will enhance the United States' deterrence posture and improves the readiness and responsiveness of US forces in Europe. The Army must innovate and adapt concepts, equipment, and training to be ready for the next war. An air and missile defense capability, one of the six modernization priorities, ensures the Army remains the most lethal and effective land force the world has ever seen. Avenger Air Defense System ensures protection of soldiers from modern and advanced air threats and missile-delivered fires, including drones. The electric turret drive is the same as that used on the Bradley Fighting Vehicle and is manufactured by General Dynamics, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Avenger carries eight Raytheon Stinger short-range air defense missiles in two launch pods mounted either side of the turret. These pods have a range of elevation from minus 10 degrees to plus 70 degrees. Missile reload time is eight missiles in less than four minutes. The current production Stinger missiles are the RMP, Reprogrammable Microprocessor, FIM-92D and the Block IFIM-92E. The Stinger missile has a two-color, infrared ultraviolet rosette scan seeker, a 3 kg fragmentation warhead, a maximum speed of Mach 2.2 and a maximum range 8 km. The Block I missile has a new roll frequency sensor and an improved processor. Funding for the Stinger Block II missile, with an imaging infrared seeker based on a focal plane array, was halted in 2002. The Remote Control Unit RCU, also produced by General Dynamics, displays the same data available to the gunner, including the FLIR monitor display. It enables the crew to conduct engagements from remote positions up to 50M from the fire unit. An Avenger Sluter Q upgrade kit has been developed to permit the existing link between the US Army FAAD command and control system to automatically slew the Avenger turret, placing the target in the gunner's field of view. The upgrade includes new fire control computer, NAPAC integrated inertial, GPS navigation system from Smith's Aerospace, ADEPT 30 video trackers from Optech, handheld terminal unit and remote control unit upgrade. 
First test firings of the upgrade, which gives beyond visual range engagement BVRE, capability for the Stinger missile, took place in April 2001. The upgraded systems entered service in 2002. The upgrade was due to extend to the entire fleet but funding for the program was cut for FY03. In 1992, the US Army signed a contract for a further 679 vehicles, bringing total Avenger production to 1,004 units, of which around 800 are in service. A further 14 units were ordered in August 1999. Taiwan has 70 systems and Egypt 50 systems. In June 2006, Boeing was awarded a foreign military sales contract for an additional 25 Avenger units for Egypt. Deliveries are to begin in early 2008 and conclude by September 2008. In September 2008, the United Arab Emirates requested the foreign military sale of 78 Avenger systems with 800 Stinger missiles. Boeing has developed the Laser Avenger, which has a 1 kW laser mounted on the Avenger vehicle, in addition to the missile system and machine gun. The Laser Avenger is designed to be effective against improvised explosive devices IEDs, and unexploded ordnance UXO. In September 2007, Boeing successfully carried out test firings of the system. In December 2008, at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, Laser Avenger acquired and tracked three small UAV targets and shot down one of the three. The Avenger system is fielded worldwide with the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, and Army National Guard. It was first deployed in 1991 to support NATO troops during Operation Desert Storm, and has also been fielded in Bosnia and South Korea. In September 2002, Avenger vehicles took part in the Open Skies II military exercise. The exercise was centered on the Washington region and tested air-ground multi-layered air defense. A number of Avenger systems were deployed during Operation Iraqi Freedom in March-April 2003, where, as well as providing air defense, they also contributed to ground security. In April 2005, eight Avenger vehicles in service in Iraq were modified for the ground security role. The right missile pod was removed and the M3P gun moved to the missile pod's position, enabling 360 degrees firing at any angle or elevation.